Hello, hello. Go Bearcats. You know, I often wondered what a bear cat was. I didn't know if it was a cat that looked like a bear or a cat that hunted bear or half bear, half cat. Anyway, go bear cats. <laughs> Glad to be back in Binghamton. Earlier, Anna touched on something. She looked at the, the theme, Stray the Course, and she, she picked out a word, stray. And she had so many different things to say about that word, and I was like, wow, fascinated. I said, I'm going to pick out a word, the. <laughs> no, 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 I'll pick out course. Let me see, course. That's like, you know, going to a class or something, taking instruction. Could be a course, right? Or a, 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 a path. A path or a, a road, a course, something that you follow to get to a goal. Uh, or a course. Or, oh, my favorite. Like going to a restaurant and the chef would like to send you his special five course. Well, thank you. That's my favorite course. Um, <clears throat> So I thought that, you know, to wrap this whole thing up, I wouldn't get too analytical and I wouldn't get too cerebral that I would just have a little conversation with you about that course. Now, when you follow a course, we're all here, I'm sure, because this is a university, we're all here because we have a goal. Now, there is things, there are things in place to achieve that goal that have been tried, true, and proven. That's called the course. That's called the way to get to that goal. And we follow those things, and we all know what they are, you know, working hard. Come on now, working hard, craftsmanship, apprenticing, you know, dedication, perseverance. These things, they've been tried to improve for centuries. This is how you get to success. You have a goal, and how do you achieve that goal? By working toward that goal in each rung of the ladder, achieving more, learning more, stepping higher, stepping forward to reach that goal. So we all know that. What we don't know is, like, you look at a person like me, Ruben Santiago Hudson, took a lot of titles coming out, actor, director, you know, writer, did I start out at all those things? No. Did I look to achieve all those things? No. Those things presented themselves, themselves to me as I went along my course, going for that goal. Now, what you see is and hear about me is my successes. And people think that's what I'm built on, all the things I have achieved. I'm equally built on all the things that I failed at. I'm equally built on all the no's that I received that inspired me to work harder, that inspired me to want to prove more, not to anyone but myself, that I was worthy, that I did measure up, that I, that I did count, that I did matter. The person that you're accountable to the most is yourself, right? So people see, if you look at my resume, my resume has a hundred things of yes. This movie, that Broadway show, that Tony Award, that Yamanitas, that Emmy, that Golden Globe, all the yeses. But the 10,000 no's I receive that are equally important to me because they are part of the fabric of who I am are not present. What if my resume was just all my failures? You know what I'm saying? Nobody wouldn't be paying any attention to me. People pay attention because of what I got a yes for, not what I got a no for. But remember, all those things that you tried and didn't think you were at the top of your game on help build character, help build substance, are part of the fabric of who you are. That C you got in chemistry two years ago is part of who you are. That made you know that if you got another one, Binghamton was kicking you out. <laughs> so you went and got that B and worked for that A. That's still part of the fabric of who you are. Now on that course, on that road to success, there's a lot of distractions and there are a lot of attractions. There are a lot of things that you say, no, 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 I better not do that. Yeah, you better do it. There's a lot of things you better do. There are certain things you cannot do, should not do, never attempt. You know, jumping out of airplanes with no parachute, don't do that. You know, walking into a lion's den with a pork chop necklace on, don't do that. There are certain things you do not do, but there are other things that are good for you. At the time, they don't seem that it's something that I should be doing, but they present themselves to you on that course. Do not ignore them. Sometimes you got to go drive truck. Sometimes you got to work at Dairy Queen. Sometimes you got to work at Starbucks for less than Starbucks. But you got to do these things because they make you who you are. And all those things that you did that, that sometimes you find out I shouldn't have done, you don't do them anymore. But they add to who you are. As you walk along that path, run along that path, trudge or trudge or go through that path, all these things on the periphery, they're fine, as long as you get back on the track. 
If you don't get back on the track, you end up veering off to what they call an accident. Stay in your lane. But sometimes you got to pull off. You know when you're going up 81 trying to get to Syracuse, it says rest stop, take that rest. Take that little rest. Sometimes you're taking four or five courses trying to beat that graduation. Sometimes you take that rest and take three courses and get a job. That don't make you a bad person. What did you learn in that experience that distracted you, that attracted you, that took you off the path? It's what's important. Not that you went off the path, that you got back on the path. And what you brought with you from getting off the path is very important. If you want to be an actor, for instance, in art, I hear actors say all the time, well, I'm not a, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a brain surgeon. You, you the doctor, baby, trust me. Because that scientist, that chemist, that lawyer, that brain surgeon, that politician is coming to see you. You are their doctor. You are their doctor. And they go to Broadway and spend $150 a ticket to come see this doctor, just like you spend $150 for that checkup. Because you're their doctor. That poet that you are, that actor that you are, those things that you are, that athlete that you are. People come and when you look in the stands, they're packed because you're their medicine. You are their doctor. Never take for granted what you do. But part of what makes you a really, what makes you a really good doctor is the experiences that you have. And experiences you will not get by just doing one thing all the time well. You become a dull boy, a girl. You become boring. But the more things that you can do and do them well, and things that you say, well, I failed at that. Yeah, I tried boxing and got my butt whooped. But did you try boxing is the question. Not whether you got your butt whooped, that you got in the ring, that you put on the gloves, that you hit and got hit. You know what that feels like. And now you know I don't want to get hit again. Or maybe you want to get hit again because it propelled you. It made you train harder. It made you get better. So what I'm trying to say to all the people here is that the things that you want to do that, that, that are your ultimate goals, Snatch and grab all the things that are on your periphery as you go along because they build you. You become uh, uh, from this just regular sized person, you get swolled up. You get swollen. You get big. You get strong. You get smarter. You get experience. But you got to be careful. You got to be careful because some experiences you can't get up off the mat from. But we all smart enough to know what those experiences are. That, 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 that pork chop necklace, that, that, that lamb chop necklace in the, in the lion's den, we don't go in there because your head's going to get chewed off. You understand? But there are things that you go and you try and you experiment with on. Because, in, because you're going to be an actor don't mean you don't take chemistry. One of the, my, the greatest roles I ever played was Dr. Percy Julian, a chemist. And I learned how to blow my own test tubes. I learned how to make water in the crystal. And I, learned, and I was interested. That was, that was the, the first time in my life that I was extremely interested in chemistry. You know, because I never was good at that. I was the best I could be when I played that role. But those challenges that present themselves to you, sometimes they're deterrents. Sometimes they're challenges you do not want to face. Face them. Face them head first. Face them strong. Face them with courage. And do not be afraid to fail. Do not be afraid to get far out on the limb because that's where the fruit is. You reach far for the fruit. Sometimes the limb, the tree limb breaks and you fall on your butt. That is not what defines you. That is not what defines character that you fell on your butt, that you got up and you got back in the tree, and you got back on the next limb, and you reached and you got the fruit. That defines character. Reputation is what other people think of you. Character is what you are. How do people know what you are? By what you show them, by what you do, by the way you carry yourself. Your integrity must be impeccable at all times. The fact whether you fail or succeed is not near as important as that you have integrity, that you represent and honor your ancestors, that you represent and honor your mother and father, that you represent and honor your town, that you represent and honor your university, that you represent and honor you, your name. 
That's the most important thing you carry into any relationship, into any world, into any room. Your integrity. Because it cannot be a price on it and it cannot be bought or sold. It is earned by the life you live, by the way you present yourself, by your manner, by the respect you have for your fellow man and the respect you have earned from them. So on this course, I don't know about this clock because it's saying numbers that I don't even know about. Anyway, on this course, <laughs> I implore you to be courageous. I implore you to reach further. I implore you to, to go out in the world without fear. Because the biggest fear for anyone is to fail. The biggest fear for most people is to hear the word no. The biggest fear, no is part of the, 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 the fine print of my job description. I get no a thousand times more than I get yes. Did I get the role that I did? No, 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 no. Too short, too fat, too tall, too dark, too light. Too bald, ain't got enough teeth. No, 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 no. What makes me feel that I should get into the next room? Because it's one big voice saying yes. And that's the big creator. That's God's voice. That's the voice that's saying there's a path for you, young man, that was carved out before you even was born. I knew your journey. I knew where you were going. I knew that you would do something in this life, in this world, that would be viable, that would matter. So that's the voice you're listening to. Prepare yourself. This journey is long. Prepare yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. So when things hit you, they bounce off. When things stick, that's when you get heavy. The more burdens you carry, the more things that stick, the heavier you get. And it gets, you get so heavy, it'd be like you're walking through molasses. Prepare yourself in those three fields, those three manners, spiritually, mentally, and physically, for this long haul. Be generous. Be gracious. Be humble. Give, 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 and you get back. But on this course... These things on the side that ask you to come take a look, take a look. Take a look. Grab hold of them, taste them, feel them, know them, experience them. Because the next room you walk in, you carry that with you, not stuck to you, inside of you. Building you, making you what you are. And that's the way I really wanted to wrap this up. I didn't want to get into a, a, a big thing. I didn't want to have cards or a slideshow or come out with in a Superman outfit or anything like this, I wanted to talk to you as your peer and encourage you to go through this earth, through this world, through this time in your life, gathering all you can gather so you can give all you can give back into the world. But you can't give anything if you don't have anything. So go out like a squirrel and just start gathering. Yeah, like squirrels be gathering nuts all the time, jaw be this big, and they still trying to put one in. That's how we have to attack it, you know? And that's a little creature that's running around. We pay him no attention, but he be gathering, right? He's gathering because he's preparing. You guys are here at this university with a lot of things to offer you. Don't just stick into your major. Stray the course. Go on out there and get other things. Actors take bio. Biologists take acting. Musicians take English. Historians take psychology. There's a lot of things here to be offered to you. Be a sponge, be a squirrel. Absorb, take, grow, and give it out to the world. Thank you guys for having me. Have a great day.